Hello, criminal justice enthusiast, and welcome back to RoboCop Rogue City. In the last episode, we went ahead and saved the OCP bank from an attack by the street vultures. Not exactly sure how this plays into the whole storyline right now. Sort of intrigued. I mean, my thought is that the, uh, Wendell is trying to... Well, I don't need the, these, I don't think. Might as well use one and then go ahead and get that. But I have a feeling that Wendell is trying to make robots, like, out of the, uh, second RoboCop movie that are sort of an improved version of RoboCop, even though the one was not. So that's my working theory right now. I guess we shall see. Alright. I didn't see anything else that I really needed to go get or anything, so let's go ahead and head this way. Do have my shotgun still? Sort of at this range though, not that great of a weapon I'd say. Hi. Let me go ahead and take that. Whoops, <laughs> evidently it can be destroyed. Alright, so I guess we're good. Let's just continue up this way. You're out of the bank already? I am in pursuit of the remaining bikers. I have followed them to the top. So that's how they must have gotten here in the first place. It seems they're retreating into the old industrial area. That must be where they've hidden their getaway vehicle. You gotta hurry. Alright, well that worked out well. Bowling for street vultures. Found a stolen wallet. Always trying to look out for different uh, evidence I can find and such. Alright, that's not working as great as I would have hoped it would. Robocop, there's a deserted warehouse nearby. It's the only building with street access in the area, and it's big enough to store their your best bet to proceed there. Roger that. All 
Alright. Yeah, I think I will keep the shotgun for now, even though it's not that great for what I'm wanting. <laughs> Figured that would work out. Yeah, that's a little glitchy there, but that happens. You know what? I'll use it because I might as well get that one. I'm not going to look too hard for evidence right now. Just want to go forward. Okay. Yeah, that works better than the shotgun does. Alright, that was definitely a firefight. <laughs>
I'm going to look at everything else around before I pick up that radio. I do sort of like his fall animation. Huh, can't play that beer bottle. Interesting. Yeah, they had a lot of weapons here. Ooh, can I get one of those? I like that versus what I got. Oh well. Let's go ahead and answer the call. I am listening, creep. Robocop! Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us, so now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. Hmm. So, Wendell is no longer working with them. Interesting. Murphy on our team. Alright, so got a skill point here. Put that one there. And then we're getting close to being able to actually fill vitality fully. I don't think that actually took. No, I hit the wrong button. Alright. So we'll go ahead and put it there. I have pertinent information regarding the case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. All right, so have to go for my eval. See if there's anything else around that I can do on the way. Nothing really to do with showers this time, it looks like. Hey, what's the big idea? Piece of junk taser blew the fuse when I tried to charge it. All right. Let's go and deal with lights out. Robocop, is that you? I can't see anything. I am standing in front of you, Officer O'Neill. Is there a problem? Oh, see, P skimps on everything when it comes to the police fired our maintenance guy to reduce their costs, so now we are literally in the dark. We need to get the power back on. I am equipped to deal with such situations. All right. Follow the cables. They should take you to the fuse box. No current detected in the high voltage box promises elsewhere. All 
Alright, so let's go downstairs then. Following the line, it's going to go all the way over there. And down here. Circuits appear to be misaligned. Okay. Not sure of the order there, but we got it done. So lights out has been completed. All right, now I'm supposed to go for my evaluation. Can't go in there now. Still doesn't look like there's anything in here. Except several <laughs> power cords underneath the desk there. He's probably part of the reason that we blew the circuits in the first place. Don't panic. Dear customer, we would like to deny any rumors that our bank is not solvent. We promise that OCP Bank is the most prosperous in Detroit. You can rest assured that we are still the best place for your savings. Sincerely, OCP Bank, bank Management. <laughs> All right, so I've got a skill point here. And that should take care of my vitality now. So now I do auto regeneration. Which is definitely a good thing. Just seeing if there's anything else lying around the offices. No, doesn't look like it. Oh, that's Detroit shining beacon of hope. Thanks for the help, Murphy. No problem. That was an easy thing to resolve, so we got that done for you. wasn't a mistake when they didn't send us insulated gloves. I'm afraid not. Looks like OCP is really cutting costs where it can. God knows what they'll cut next. Or who. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? I love how OCP cuts costs. I guess so that they can build the, uh new city on top of old Detroit. I mean, again, it's sort of ironic because the storyline really is applicable in today's society, where big businesses just do cut cost any which way they can. Oh. We are going to build a brand new city where Detroit now stands. Delta City is the only hope that we have. All right. Well, that wasn't great. I'm ready for you, Robo. Let's see how we did with our mission. All right. Let's see what's cooking under the hood. Once I'm done, he's all yours, Doctor. Ooh. 
Yeah, I didn't do so great that time. Huh. Oh, didn't realize there was all those other things to do. My mistake. Hello, Murphy. Congratulations. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the first one. It's the one that makes the most sense. I serve the public trust. I do not do it for fame. No. Your sense of duty is what drives you. That's clear. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? Huh. I mean, it was cruel. I don't think this one works. It is sort of for the best, though, because if they didn't do it, then my family could be in danger every time I go out. Sort of like most superheroes have. Uh, I'm going to go what uh, it was for the best. They would not want to see me like this. Perhaps not. But the alternative isn't much better. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? Hmm. I'm going to say it's echoes of the past. Because it's either that or a system failure. As echoes of the past. But OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you. I will fight for you in every way I know how. If you let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. I've got plenty to think about for now. Alright, so we did get another experience point. Didn't do that well on that mission, actually. Sort of a little bit sad about that. I mean, I'd sort of like the cracking capability here. That's my biggest one there. But the damage reduction would be very nice here. I'm not sure I need to crack safes. Hmm. Because, yeah, I mean, I'd have to get all the way over here, so we're talking two... Six points to get there versus this would just benefit me overall. Yeah, I'm going to keep building up my armor. All right. So we're supposed to head to the briefing room, but I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and click that like button. 
And if you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all again for more RoboCop Rogue City.